guys, we're at the BET Music Matters Experience and we're the behind the scenes where everybody's getting ready. Let's see what's going on. Yo, we about to get this crowd real live, real quick. Hey, we're behind before the concert starts. We're with the crowd. Everybody's really excited. Yo, what up? It's Guest the Cross here for the BET Experience. About to go up, about to kill it on stage. My homie Bobby D. You know what I'm saying? We about to do this. Okay, so it's Monday, it's almost 12, and I'm still in bed. Do you in bed? Still in bed. If I'm not working, I am lazy but Like, seriously. If I'm not working, I'm not on set, I'm on some gig. I like to be in bed until, like, really, really late. But see, the thing is, I'm also a very bad girl. I tend to go to sleep really, really late. Usually around, like, 3 in the morning. I've been a good girl, though. Lately, I've been going to sleep around 2. So, yay for me. But that's why I have these dark circles. Uh, uh, but I'm working on it. <laughs> like I said in my other posts, I'm trying my best to be healthier in every single way and i know that sleeping a bit earlier is part of it but yep nothing entertaining over here so i stopped by my parents house and i'm being a loser watching bad girls club and i'm really contemplating taking a nap but my sisters convinced me to go work out with them they started this whole aerobics class and realistically I should go want to know why because I'm trying to get healthy and because I was a punk and for like a week I didn't work out so since it's Tuesday this week I need to get on it need to get back on the workout wagon so I'm gonna go but I'm gonna take this nap real quick so I'm all nice and sweaty because I just finished the aerobics class with my sisters and kind of kicked my butt a little bit because I haven't worked out in about a week. Look at the sweat. Yep, that's sweat. And the only reason why I'm wearing makeup right now is because earlier today I was shooting a skit with my friend Tim. But other than that, I wouldn't work out with makeup. But this is it. My sisters are in the back. And yeah can't film it because it might make people uncomfortable but I'll break it down later. D2 of aerobics class with my sisters. Sister in the back and the other one boop, right there. Don't know if you can see me, I'm all sweaty. But now we're about to get our weights and our little steps and gonna do a little something. 
just finished my aerobics class day number two and it happens to be by my parents house so I stopped by now I know that it's really important to eat very very healthy when you're working out and everything but because I'm at my parents I can't all the way watch what I eat so my mom just happened to make some haiwa and I'm gonna eat it with some tostadas and I'm gonna do my best to not eat like a pig and make a gazillion of them but it's important to eat after every workout so I'm gonna fuel myself with some of this Good morning, So I just got done with the Playboy morning show and now I'm off to Hollywood to go do my second shoot of the day. Stay tuned. In my car as you guys can see I'm actually in a parking lot I'm all hot and sweaty because it was a really hot day outside and I just finished my second shoot I'm on my way to the third one I'm gonna go shoot with my friend Josh aka the natural I'm gonna help him out with his music video and as you guys can see I'm getting changed in my car modeling isn't always very glamorous but I've been blessed to be very busy today and here I go. I'll update you guys when I'm there. <laughs> Alright, so third shoot of the day. Helping my friend Josh, Mr. The Natural, and Refuge, and we're filming. A little tired. All I've eaten today is a granola bar and um, got some blisters on my feet. So remember how I said I hadn't eaten all day? Yeah, I gave a homeless man my cheese it crackers when I was on my second shoot. And I still haven't eaten all day, so I'm gonna be really, really bad and I'm gonna eat unhealthy today because I feel like I've earned it, being that I've been up since six-ish and I've done three shoots in one day. I deserve it, so I'm doing Chinese. Okay, uh, let me get one of them. Yeah, what is it? Don't judge me. Yeah, yeah. I work hard. I deserve it. Alright, so I'm in traffic right now. I'm on the 110. I just got done with a gig. Um, I won't go into full details because I just won't. <laughs> Might not be all the way professional. And honestly, I just feel like venting a little bit. Um yeah a lot of you guys that have been following me for a while and i continuously say it that you know i'm a full-time model i'm a full-time model i'm a full-time model um the reason why i state that is because i'm just really really happy that for the last year and some change i've been able to finally pursue my dream before that i was very very unhappy working a regular job just like everybody else and um just modeling full-time makes me so happy it really fulfills that something within me you know and so today I was actually sent home from a gig a little early the client wouldn't give me details but clearly um, I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say that they weren't really happy with me or my performance which really sucks because it was very unprofessional that they didn't give me a full-on reason as to why and I know that it doesn't make it any better that I'm right here vlogging to you guys about it but the reason why I'm doing this is just to let you guys know that my life isn't perfect. It's far from it. You know, I don't have a brand new car. I have an old beat up Prius, but you know, it takes me to point A and B and back and all around, you know. So uh, nonetheless, I'm very blessed in that aspect. But I just want you guys to know that, you know, when you are chasing your dreams and you're not like fully out there, you know, there will be some hard times like today. And I just want you guys to know that it will be okay. And like I said, I know that it wasn't the best thing for me to probably, you know, sit here and film this. But I'm doing this because I want you guys to just know that if you do want to pursue your dream, whatever it is, just know that there will be some ups and downs. But at the end of the day, it'll all be worth it. All right? All right. Talk to you guys later.